Hey guys, this is Dr. Quads, and did you know that Gyroflow has a plugin for DaVinci Resolve to where you can just put it on, load current file, and then bam, your footage is stabilized. It's pretty insane, and all the settings are right over here in DaVinci Resolve. That really just makes Gyroflow in another league even higher than Real Steady because now my workflow is going to be a lot faster. So yeah, I'll be using Gyroflow, boys. Uh, anyway, so here's how to actually get it. So what you do is you download the Gyroflow OFX Windows if you're on Windows. If you're not on Windows, I'm sorry, I, I don't know how to help you. Anyway, so get the Gyroflow Windows, uh, extract it, and then uh, I actually believe there's you need to extract it a second time. Let me just double check that real quick. Uh, but yeah, extract it twice until you get the folder that's not a zip folder. Click on it and then you should see Gyroflow OFX bundle. So now what you do is you go over to your C drive, go to program files, common files. Then you want to go to OFX. Now, if there's not a folder in here called OFX, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and make one. OFX all caps. Then you go into that and make a folder called plugins if there's not already one. Um, and then you go into that. And then as you see here, there's the, the uh, folder. You just drag it over to here and drop it in the OFX plugin. So that's C, program files, common files, OFX, plugins. You drag this in there, close it all out. You're gonna reload DaVinci Resolve. And then in the OpenFX tab over here, you'll see Gyroflow. If you don't see it, uh, either something went wrong or maybe just like search for it, Gyro, and you'll see it there. And then so what you're gonna do, how you actually use this, let me go ahead and delete it. Uh, you're going to get your footage that doesn't have Rocksteady. Now this only works with uh, the, the GoPro and the O3 Air unit that has auto-synced gyro data. This doesn't work with all uh, footage that can be used uh, in gyro flow. So you might need to use the app to do some things like with Runcam Thumb. But anyway, so you're just going to drag this on here. Okay. And then you're going to load current file. And as you can see there, uh, we can actually turn it off and you can see that it's, um, it's stabilized. And there you go. Yeah. Stabilized footage in DaVinci Resolve real time. You can edit this. I can chop this up and do some sort of editing or whatever. Um, now it does seem to be, oh, look at that. It seems like if I try to drag this around too much, it crashes DaVinci Resolve. So that is a little bit of an error that I just encountered when I was making this video. And that's a huge, that's a big problem. So I'm gonna go give this to the uh, Gyroflow team and hopefully they're gonna fix that lickety split because that's kind of a, a, a deal breaker for me if I'm gonna have DaVinci Resolve crashing on me when I'm trying to edit these clips, I'd rather just, put it in Gyroflow's app, you know, export it, and then that won't happen. Cause like, well, let's just make sure that it is Gyroflow's fault. Let's delete Gyroflow from this clip. We're gonna cut it and we're gonna drag it across. And yeah, we're dragging just fine, no problem at all. So it does seem to be Gyroflow, um, doesn't really like it when you're editing the clips. So that's something, that's something right there. And honestly, that kind of puts a, a wrench in this video because, well, uh, you know, I thought like this is definitely a huge workflow improvement but if I'm gonna have any chance of it crashing my DaVinci timeline, then I would rather just go to Gyroflow, use their batch export, by the way, which I'll be doing a video on that soon, uh, and then just have those files. Uh, this was pretty cool to like save hard drive space, uh, but as someone who edits their clips, uh, no, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't be using something that's gonna crash my timeline. So it might be right for you, but as I just found out in making this video, that was about how good it is and how I'm gonna be using it all the time, it's not right for me anymore. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is Dr. Quaz, and I'll catch you next time.